Hey everybody, welcome back. It's, hey, hey. It's Wooly World time again, isn't it? It sure is. And, oh my god, uh, last time we beat that cave level that apparently Steven hates. And, um, yeah, now we're gonna go to the rainbow level. But yep. we need to change some Yoshis here. I'm gonna here. be Flame Yoshi because our Yoshis are very similar. Alright, I'm just confusing. gonna stick with the Yoshi I am then. Yeah, well we won't get ourselves confused. Okay, let's, uh, let's just, let's go for it. Fanciful, wait, what's it say? Fanciful fluff and feathers. That's the cutest thing I've That's ever That's amazing. Heard. By the way, you know, I was playing this, um, I was thinking about this game again, and I was always, you know, when we got to this part of the game, I was like, World 3 is my favorite, but I forgot about World 5, so mm -hmm. something to look forward to, audience. World 5 is amazing. I really well. liked World 4, too, actually. Yeah, well, they're all good, but do you remember World 5 at all? Oh, yeah, you didn't. I didn't get you to didn't World get that 5, because I'm a loser. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't going to say it, pal. But... <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you had to uh, at least acknowledge that it was true. We didn't get to World 5. <laughs> these clouds are so, like, you know, funny. They're, like, puffy. Can, can, will these take us somewhere? Mm. I think they will. Follow me. I doubt it's going to take you anything um, anywhere important right now, but I'm sure we'll have to use that later. It's taking me somewhere. It's not taking you anywhere. Yes, it is. Fine. Okay. <laughs> right, let's keep going. I like them. I forget what these are called. The oh, sea seagulls. Uh, I don't know. Steven comment. <laughs> Steven comment. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Or to quote like Toad from Mario Kart 64. Yahoo! That was shrill. <laughs> oh my god, look. It's a rainbow. But there's something She's a there. rainbow. You know, stone song. Or, no, uh, no, what song? Or, uh, like, you know, know it, yeah. she had rainbow eyes. Rainbow. Can oh, we, crap. Oh, my God. Can we call it? Can we talk about Dio on this episode since it's the rainbow uh, level? All right. All right. Let's talk about Dio. Um, what do you want to say about well, Dio? Well, hey, how about. Oh, do you not want to talk about Dio what? Day? Oh, my God. Dio Day? Yes, we should. Okay. okay. I don't know if. You, I mean, that kind of. Is connected to a particular like area. Oh, uh, who cares? Let's just talk about. Dio we did day. say that we first. Let's, the first, let's talk oh, about sorry. Dio. So we we have like a we How have do context. I, I can't even figure out the controls. Like, ah, I can you not, get out of your mouth? I can't figure out how to do it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Anyway, all right. That's what about Dio. Anyway. Uh huh. Um, let's talk about Dio. Well, you start. I mean, you're the. All right. Well, Dio, Ronnie James Dio, is a singer. Uh, from a. Uh, mm -hmm. And the reason we're talking about him in this episode because he's. From, oh, sorry. Ah, you're killing me today. Uh, uh, he's from a band called Rainbow. Well, that was his first. Well, his, he was in a bunch of like old school like um, rock bands called like Ronnie and the Red Caps and Ronnie and the Prophets and all this stuff, right? He and uh, well, he's he's a rock singer. And, Tell us more. Yeah, and he was also in a band called Elf, which uh, was also known as the Electric Elves or El or the Elves or I think. And then yeah, I think they had another name, but I can't remember. Anyway. They were a rock band who toured uh, as Elf with Deep Purple, which I'm sure some of you people know who Deep Purple is. And, uh, and they toured with them in the 70s, and when Deep Purple... Oh, wait, there's something up here. When Deep Purple was um, in their second or third lineup, I think it was their third lineup, uh, with David Coverdale, Richie Blackmore wanted to leave over a song that he wanted to record called Black Sheep of the Family. And he ended up taking the band Elf, which, you know, Dio was in, and forming a band called Rainbow. Um, who, if anybody here, like, knows about, like, rock and metal, they know that Rainbow was a very, very influential band in rock and metal. And, yeah, that's Whoa. pretty much where Ronnie James Dio's, like, career really began as, like, a m more, like, not mainstream, but more, like, successful musician. And, yeah, he is an amazing singer who I love. He, he is an amazing singer. He ended up replacing Ozzy in Black Sabbath after he left Rainbow and after Ozzy left Sabbath. Hey, we're getting all the, um, the yarn so I'm far very away. happy about it. We have to because it's the Rainbow level. Well, I think it... I, I mean, I'm going to assume we're going to get the Rainbow Yosh. Yeah. But anyway, that song Rainbow Eyes that I was singing was from the Rainbow's last album. And... Oh, crap. And it's a beautiful ballad. Uh, wait till you come back before we Like, medieval kind of ballad by... I'm, I'm sorry I keep, like, just talking about Dio, anyway. Eh, but it's yeah. every day of my life, to Yeah, be it's, a, it's a beautiful... It's a, uh... Yes. It's a beautiful ballad, like, While medieval... While you're doing that, maybe it's, like, the Dio topic that's giving you, like... You know? Uh-huh. It's, like, making you... Oops! Ah! Anyway, either way, we're doing very well while, while this is happening. Yeah, can, yeah, just see if you can get that. I can't play today for some reason, although we are still doing well. Okay, good, excellent. Woohoo! Um, 
Just anyway, such a colorful level. It is. It's a really beautiful level. I love it. Anyway, so Rainbow was a great so, band. So one, one of my favorite bands, yeah. And then, uh, he. Oh my god, we're little planes! Sky pop Yoshi. Soar gracefully through the skies. Make Yoshi shoot out powerful orbs by pressing blah blah. Okay. But anyway, he was also in uh, in Black Sabbath. He he replaced Ozzy, and I think did a phenomenal job uh, as a replacement. Um, but also like transforming the band into like a completely different band. Um, but that aside. Uh, okay, I'll take the top. You take the bottom. Okay, and and oh, that, there's the that aside, uh, Dio is an amazing singer. Or was an amazing singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was. And uh, he had a very operatic voice. Um, had an excellent vocal range, um, and was just, like, a badass, you know? So I love Dio, yeah. Moral of the story, Rob. And why don't you talk about Dio Day? So Dio Day is this thing that's happening in New York. Did I say that he's my favorite singer? No. He's my absolute favorite singer. But I feel like he was singer. implied. <laughs> he's, my, he's my absolute favorite singer of all time, and I cried when he died in 2010. So anyway, Dio Day. Uh -huh. It's just this event for Dio in his, like, hometown. And there's gonna be like a dorky motorcycle ride and like concerts and stuff, and we're excited. Yeah, there's gonna be like bands playing and stuff in his hometown because we live near his hometown, so um, it's great. And that's pretty much all we have to say about Dio. I, think. Uh, I could keep going on. Yeah. Oh, and also, wait, wait, there's one more thing I want to say could about be Dio. Shanty. He also, I didn't talk about how he had a solo c career called Dio, a band <gasps> called Dio, which is like his probably most commercially successful thing. He did like Holy Diver, right? And one of the band, one of the albums he did. Which I think is my personal favorite Dio album is Magica. Magica is great. And that's the first. I think that's really the first you heard of him, except for Rainbow. Maybe I think. Oh, I definitely. Yeah. Rainbow. Um. Two. I have two points. First of all, everyone go look up as long as it's not about love. Yeah, I was about to go there, but go ahead. That's point one. Point two. Remember, we were in a record store in New Jersey, and um, I was like, "Who's Dio?" And you were like, <gasps> <laughs> "I was like, what?" <laughs> yeah, but you forgave me because I mean, I yeah. was ignorant. But well, at least be, I didn't hate Dio. And not know? to not to be er, and to be fair, honestly, you you're not really super into heavy metal. No. And that's, he is that's very fair. He's he's like considered one of the greatest heavy metal singers of all time. To me, he is the greatest. Plus, you know? I learned a lot about music just from like things that people like my parents and whatnot were into, and yeah. neither of my parents were like were into Dio at all. Yeah, which is unfortunate for them, but. uh... I was gonna get into like how special uh, that song, as long as it's not about love, oh, yeah. is. Um, that's a song that the first time we ever met in Yay, person. Yeah, we got the Yoshi. It's the first time we ever met in person. Um, I had just discovered that song on that album. Oh, I didn't know that was that recent. Yeah, it, it was. It was around that time. Like I, it, uh, I forget how I dis. I think I watched a, a tribute video of Dio that somebody made, and they had that song playing, and it made me cry, and I was like. I've got to figure out what song that is. I've never heard it, so I listened to it. And then, after I had visited you, I listened to that song and I cried again. Well, the timing so is go. wrong then, because you introduced that song to me in 2015, and you hadn't visited me since, like, 2014. I'm talking about the first time I visited you. So, you didn't- you said you recently discovered Magica around that time, but the first time you visited me was 2013. Yeah. And when you played, um, Magica for me, or as, not, as long as it's not about love, that was 2015. So wait. so you said that you just had gotten into Magicka around the time that you played it for me, which is not true. Oh, no, no, not that's that not, matters, that's not but... what I said, or at least that's not what I meant to say. Oh. Yeah. No, no, no. well, I mean, or maybe I, yeah, I mean, to me, like, <laughs> knowing a band for, like, two years isn't very long, because there's a lot of bands I've been into for, like, over ten years, you know? Well, anyway, so, it's an aside. It doesn't that... really matter, actually, I but, know. like, the point being is that... I'm sorry I got fussy, but... It's okay, fussy. Um, I'm a fussy person. Yeah, but the point is, is that, like, I hadn't discovered that, and then it was right after I f the first time I met you in person, I listened to the song, and then I, like, cried. Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm never gonna... You know? <laughs> Who won? I think you did. I did, yeah. Anyway, and then we're driving home from the record store, and Rob's like, I gotta play you some Dio, and he's like, you're gonna love this song, and he played as long as it's not about love, and I'm like, hmm. Yeah. I was nodding my head. I'm like, I do love this. <laughs> <That's great. laughs> and then I listened to it all summer and just like thought yeah. about Rob. Aw. We were living in separate countries at the time. Yeah. We're living in. Yay! Oh my god, you got a cotton, cotton candy, candy Yoshi. Eh, screw it. I thought it was rainbow Yoshi. Well, he is a rainbow, so can He's I be He's a rain. Yeah, I'm gonna claim. Uh, I'm gonna be the brown Yoshi. Because I love brown Yoshis. Yeah, you certainly do. Here we go, okay. 
so yeah, that's 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 uh, about Dio, and uh, I also heavily associate him with um, uh, when I move uh, when I moved into the, like my first house um, with my sister and my brother-in-law when I was in like my early twenties, and I listened to Dio constantly, like 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 well, not just his, not just the band Dio, but like Rainbow and Black Sabbath and stuff, and that's around the time he died, so. Uh, for some reason, like, normally stuff like that doesn't affect me, but, like, uh, when he died, it just hit me so hard for some reason. I don't know why. I think it's just because I had such a love for the guy's music. Well, he also died pretty young. Yeah, he did. Which sad. Uh, yeah, which is ironic. Like, it was an untimely death. Yeah. We need those. There, there's a Black Sabbath song called Die I need, Young, wait, so. Wait! What, pal? Ah, I'm sorry. Pal. Let me go down. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. Um, ah! Oh, so wait, we, what do we need? We, we need that bullet bill to make a cloud so that we can jump up. Oh. Oh. Like, jump on the cloud. Okay, I see, okay. This is interesting. Hmm, I wonder if we should go... Let's try going to the left. I don't think that's the main path. Okay, uh, to the left here. Okay. Yeah, and up. Do you want to see what's over there, though, first? I feel like this is a side path. That's kind of my, my feeling about it. Stop, please stop. Oh, oh, Killing well, the bullet bills. There's still one up there. Oh, get it, get it, get it. Yay, hold on. Yay, okay, okay. Ah, it's a little challenging. It's weird that this is like a castle, but we're not in a castle, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, anyway. But yeah, so, D, I, I would, to compare, I would say like, you know how like everybody our age and like, anybody who's like anybody, uh, <laughs> like was, like who has a soul, Got upset about Robin Williams dying. Mm. That was just an overall like depressing death, oh, yeah, you that, know, for everybody. I I normally don't find the deaths of famous people like really upsetting. Not because I'm like callous or whatever, yeah. but because you know it's sad in the abstract. But oh, I'm done here. But be because like it's not the same as somebody dying that you know. But Robin Williams' death, oh, it was like a dagger. I saved you. Thanks. <laughs> You're welcome. That, yeah, that was sad. Anyway, so going on. Yeah, it was it was like that level for me. You know, it was that yeah. level like sad to me. You know. Um, it's, I don't know, there's sometimes, like, with artists, you know, they're, you know, you, you, nice. you, like, fall in love with their art so much, it's like, it's almost like you know them and they become a part of you, and their work becomes a part of you, you know? Well, I can agree with their, oh, sorry, with their work becoming a part of you, I don't know if I necessarily identify yeah. with, like, them becoming a part of you, but everybody's different, you know? Yeah. So. I also re read a lot about Dio, and I saw a lot of interviews with him and watched a lot of stuff about him. And after he died, like, every, like, so many musicians came out and said, like, that he was such a, uh, like, personally, such a nice guy, and he treated his friends so well, and he was, like, a gentleman. Oh, I'm sorry that I keep doing that. It's okay. Um, and he was, like, a gentleman, and, uh, like, he was just genuinely a good guy, and, uh, he, he kind of came across that way when, like, when he would speak, like, when he would talk about things, you know? And he, was, he also seemed like a very smart person and a very talented person. It's just like, it's just such a loss, you know? He was obviously very talented, there's no question. You know, and there's just like, it's it seems to me it's unfortunate when, like, you have guys like that, especially in music now, where it's like they're, like, those people who were like the archetypal, like, um, musicians that just defined whole genres of music, like, they're just, it feels like they're just dying off now. Wait. There's There's not like, there's... Wait. What, what's that? There's more back. How do we get down? Oh, it's a block that we can ground down. Yeah, there's a. Uh, but it doesn't seem like pe those kind of people are really like. I feel like they're a lot of them are just dying. You know, it's it's so sad. You know. Well, I mean, with that particular generation, yeah. Because yeah. They're all old now. Yeah, but like, if you think about it, and th this might be my own jaded point of view, but like, who around now is is equivalent to people like like Dio or David Bowie or like you know what? a lot I, of people who died. We would say nobody but we would say, that is our own bias. Like It is our own bias. There's but, a lot of people that are hugely influenced by other musicians that that's true. just happen to not really like. That's true, yeah. But the the thing is, I don't know, it's just it, Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. It's 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 hard for me not to, you know. You're a bit of a, a bit of a music elitist, as we've discussed. I guess so, yeah. I perhaps I am. You definitely you know? are, no offense. Oh thanks, that's fine. Um I just, I don't know, I just feel like, comparatively, you know, there's, there's, it's hard to compare, like, a lot of the stuff, you know, the richness of, like, that time to, you know, um, to now, you know, I feel like it's, there's no comparison, you know, not that oh, there isn't 
talent. Hey, I think I accidentally got a badge. Look at this. Oh, that's random. I did not mean to do that, everyone. Nice, good job but there. It saved me. We're like kicking ass, by the way. There's been a few little weird oh, yeah. mistakes, but we are. We're really doing well. Um, I don't know. That's it's my own perspective, so I'm sure it's different. You know, it's not like there isn't some great uh, musicians. There's amazing musicians um, that are that are out now. It's just. I'll d let me just say, I like personally agree with you, but I just yeah. I also feel like you aren't able to see past your bias on this one. I feel, I don't know, I try to, it's just nothing, or maybe it's just, I guess it's just my own personal taste, that is what music is, you know, it's, uh -huh. that's what all art is, it's subjective in my opinion, although my stupid philosophy professor would say otherwise, but. Well, that's because he is an idiot. Yeah, he is stupid. A lot of philosophers say some pretty stupid crap. Yeah. In my opinion. Yeah, I kind of agree with that. Which is funny because, like, their job is to think. Yeah. Well, it goes to show you they're human too, you know? They can you know, at the end of the day, human beings, um, it's, it's hard for a human being to be completely objective, you know? I would say it's, I, impossible. I would say it's impossible too, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it doesn't matter who you are, you're, you're gonna have, it seems to me, oh uh, no, I'm sorry. It was, it's okay, it's probably just like extra health. Yeah. Oh, my foot's going numb. Oh. <laughs> sorry. It's okay, you didn't do it. You didn't make my foot go numb. I didn't do it. Please stop with the Palpatine <laughs> quotes. This is also my life, by the way. Rob talking about Dio and quoting Palpatine. Hmm, are you still trying to get in my way? How rude. Hey, Miss Clock, get over here. Oh, I shot it, Kamek. Eee, watch where you're going. And there, never mind that. Just get to work and blow that annoying Yoshi away. I wonder what's insincere about this thing. It was called Cluck the Insincere. Oh, I remember Maybe this. because it's hiding. Well, it's not really insincere, it's more like cowardly. Uh, who knows? Well, that was, like, <laughs> stupidly yeah. simple. Every boss has just been, like, like, untie the knot, ground pound, you know? Yeah. Whoa! Well, this is, uh, this is a little more complicated. Yeah, I guess so, this wind is kind of intense. That's alright, brown Yoshi's weird. got this, or whatever kind of Yoshi is, like a cookie Yoshi or something? I can't remember. Yeah. I forget the exact name, but clearly it is a Cookie Yoshi. <laughs> oh, there's another tie on it. Nice job. Good job. We're a good team. I think we are a good team. We've only gotten in our way, uh, in each other's way, like, very minimally, I, th I feel. Yeah. You know. I can agree with that. You know, I, I really, I really feel like so, like... Oh, they're so cute, the Yoshis. I love the Yoshis in this game. Oh, I have like a pins and needles feeling in my foot now. It oh, that sucks. After this boss fight, I've got to adjust in some way. Okay. But it's too intense at this moment. Oh. Okay. Actually, it's on the floor, because we're literally sitting on the floor. Oh my god, he almost, uh... It looked like he almost came back. Yay! Yay! Is that the Yoshi you were looking for, by the way? Even though yep. it's not Rainbow Yoshi, it's yeah. just Cotton Candy it's not, Yoshi. Yeah, it wasn't like, I knew it wasn't technically called Rainbow Yoshi, but yeah. And technically it's not a rainbow, because where's green and purple We and did orange, really but... well. I mean, we weren't very, we weren't doing well in terms of health, and we missed two stamps, we but we got... We still did well. Yeah. We did, we did a pretty good job, i I feel like I'd we say. weren't really focusing all that much, at least me. Well, yeah. I mean, there was a lot going on. I mean, we were talking about Dio, you know. Yeah, well, that's that's a, not as uh, that's distracting serious. for me that's serious. as it is for you. Well, and also, like, you know, to quote you, it's serious business, you it know. Is. What Yoshi did we get? Let's see. Hmm. I think it's that bird. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a chicken, Yoshi. You need to mis miscluck the Yoshi back together. Oh my what? god, this is the end of the world. Yep, we did it. Stupid comic. We're halfway through the game. Yep. Yeah, this is a great world, I have to say. <gasps> My favorite Yoshi is in this world. <laughs> My favorite of all the Yoshis. <laughs> really? Other than Purple Yoshi, who is, you know, my alter ego. All right, um, we are done here. Uh, next time... Are you going to be Cluck the Yoshi? Uh, sure, I'll be Cluck the Yoshi. Next time, we will um go to the fourth world. Yay! See you next time, everybody. Peace.